Hi everybody, so after the last uh, video about the installation for the uh, GCS900 emulator I decided to do one for the installation of the Tremble Business Center I believe the current version is 5.4 and I downloaded it off the Tremble website I will post the link in the description you just need to fill out the little subscription uh, page and it will let you download uh, so let's take a look uh, so once you download it it comes I believe in a zip folder uh, I unzipped it here with a whole bunch of directories and then we just double click setup uh, Windows is asking us it's not uh, verified right so do you really want to allow this app to make the changes to the device it's depending on what kind of uh, security settings you have on your Windows machine so let's hit yes and uh, as you can see depending on the speed and uh, the quality of your computer uh, here you have a few different uh, languages you are able to uh, install so because I'm in Canada I'm gonna just install the English one uh, just hit next. Uh, obviously, terms and conditions. Uh, welcome everybody to read this, but uh, it's just a classic uh, software license agreement. <coughs> now you have three uh, choices here uh, install Tremble Business Center, some tools and utilities, and you have some support documents. So let's take a look at the support documents. Obviously, you have uh, release notes and readme, right? And uh, uh, instruction on how to deploy the enterprise. If you go back to tools and utilities, obviously you have the HASP key, so uh, Tremble Business Center requires, if you have the purchase version, requires a USB HASP key, HASP key or software one, right? And or the next one is the tablet sync, it's the synchronizer for your, your tablet, uh, so you can download Survey files and obviously the planning right, uh, for your uh, GPS observations. Uh, let's go ahead and click the Trim Business Center. You have either a complete set of features or custom. I usually go with the complete. Let's go to look at the customs, right? So obviously it's asking you where to install the same. Uh, Remove Business Center and where is going to be your sync path, uh, path for your synchronizer data. Shortcut Investor, uh, add machine control exporters for GCS 12.2 to 12.8, right? Um, so you can customize certain portions. Uh, obviously, uh, at this point, because this is a brand new installation of Windows on this computer, I just revamped it for the New Year's. I'm going to install the whole or the whole shebang so i'm just going to install you in the mobile center and uh, i believe i don't need the Mac, Mac framework because that was installed with the uh, windows update installed and uh, as you can see it's copying uh, a whole bunch of installation files and everything features into your Here. And let's see how long that's going to take. Again, depending on what kind of machine you have, it might take longer. Uh, but, uh, let's see. And once installed, we can uh, run it and see a few different options there. And I'm just going to look what actually what was installed where. Probably gonna speed through this right when uh, on the actual final cut video. So we are about a minute into installation.
So as I suspected, the Windows restarted on us uh, because it was installing some net framework and some visual libraries and I guess that requires a complete reboot and yeah, there is another one, this must restart your um, windows again so let us pause this and we'll resume once we are back after reboot so this would be the reboot number two okay so welcome back this is after the reboot number two and as we can see it's installing the other apps and uh, for example, Coordinate System Manager, it just did the hasp key before that, before I could start the recording of the screen. So let's see how long is this going to take and whether it's going to be uh, reboot number 3. You never know. Right? I'm not sure whether if you are already have the earlier version installed on your computer this might happen or not but this is completely fresh new install so basically what I did I got a new hard drive a solid state in my laptop uh, reinstalled Windows from scratch did all the updates and uh, basically installing the business center on it right now so uh, let's see. I believe this portion might be quite quick. Overall, it's probably like 15 16 minutes into the installation. As we can see in the top left corner, we are having a Trimble Business Center 64-bit icon as well as convert to Rhinox uh, computer. So let's just see what else is going to pop up there. I believe this might have unlocked uh, a stab menu or rather a bank as a Trimble officer. We already have coordinate system manager planning the business center and the Rhinox. Right, so let's see what else is going to come up. Office synchronizer, boom, there it is. So obviously that's gonna show up in the start menu as well. Oh yeah, SCS data manager feature the thing yeah. up. So then we are seeing lots of new new packages which come. Oh now UAS master. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I guess we are done. So, all in all, probably 25 minutes uh, with the reboots. Uh, obviously, reboots can take a little bit longer or not, uh, depending on the on 
the speed of your computer. So let's launch it and let's see the fresh new install of Business Center. I'm excited. Lots of customization done right at the start, right? Especially uh, with the templates and everything. So I'm gonna check that out in a different video. And just this time, I just want to make sure to it's running and everything is fine I have noticed since 5.4 it takes a little bit longer to start and again this is an old laptop right so there we go the check for updates right we can do that so we already have few updates which we can do but other than that we are in business metric uh, okay let's see boom we can start designing so Hope you enjoyed this quick video uh, and uh, hit subscribe and to check out the new videos. Uh, next time we'll probably look at the setting up the template and a few customization tricks which could set you on a path to create uh, your designs. Thanks for watching. Bye.